it's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. And this is probably, well, definitely going to be the last Oktoberfest video of 2023. I think we've covered an awful lot of Oktoberfest this year. There's been a lot of Oktoberfest release in the UK this year. It seems to definitely now be an event on the channel every September. Um, probably for the first eight years of the channel's life, didn't really take much notice of Oktoberfest. And all of a sudden it started to creep in. I started to kind of educate myself a little bit on it. And you, you tried different Oktoberfest beers. My channel sponsor, Beers of Europe, used to send me the Oktoberfest beers. And we just, just fall in love with it. Over the years, definitely over the last five years, completely fallen in love with Oktoberfest and more importantly, the Oktoberfest beers. Um, but this is it for 2023. This is the last video and it's a battle video for you. Um, I want to thank Stuart for sending me two beers uh, and a top and a few packs of crisps and some more beer as well in the, in the fridge. But we're going to do these two today. I've decided to put these together. He sent me the Spatten Oktoberfest beer and the Lohenbrau Oktoberfest beer. And I thought, why not do a battle video? Let's put these up side by side. So without further ado, um, this is the Lohenbrau Oktoberfest beer. 500ml bottle. 6.1% ABV. There's the bottle cap. I have recently uh, reviewed the keg of Oktoberfest beer from Lone Brown on the perfect draft. If you want to have a little look at that video. Interestingly, I've also done the Spatten Oktoberfest beer on the perfect draft and that followed a week later. So this year, 2023, has been keg Lone Brown Oktoberfest beer and Spatten keg Oktoberfest beer on the Philips Perfect Draft, if you want to take a look at those videos. So when when Stuart sent me these beers, I thought to myself, well, as I've drunk them on keg, let's put them up versus each other in the bottle. Let's, let's see if there's, let's see which is better. So there's a lone brow, uh, two finger, white head, uh, good levels of carbonation. It's a lovely light amber coloured beer. Looks absolutely fantastic. Clear. It's been filtered. There's no sediment in there whatsoever, but th that looks a really nice beer. Let's pour the Spatten. Now Spatten, uh, it's Spatten Franciscana Brewing Company. Or brewery. Using my Guypull brewing glass for the first time as well. I had a, uh, an Instagram message off Guypull saying you're enjoying your German lagers recently. Would you like a glass? I was like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Send it over. Thank you very much. So they were very kind enough to send me a glass. Thank you very much, Guypel Brewing in North Wales there. Two to three finger, white, creamy, fluffy head, good levels of carbonation. And again, it's that lovely light amber color on the look of the beer. Looks great. Filtered, no sediment. As we're here, the Spatten is 5.9% ABV. So the Lone Brow is slightly higher by 0.2% ABV. Uh, let's start with the Spatten as we've got it in our hand. Aroma. Yeah, I, I, I could drink this stuff till the cows come home. I really could. Oh, wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. Ready. Wafer-like biscuitina sweetness coming through from the malt. Mm. 
yeah, it's terrific. A little bit of stinging nettle, spicy, peppery hop coming through. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah, Stone the Crows. Stone the Crows, tremendous beer. Tremendous beer. I've still not lost my urge. And I get this urge massively when I when I sip good quality German lager. I get this instant urge to go and find my passport <laughs> and uh, book a book a flight to Munich, you know. <laughs> Bye. See you all later. <laughs> uh, oh, it tastes fantastic. Really, really good beer. Crisp. Wafer like malt, biscuity, great carbonation, not overly carbonated. A bit of stinging nettle, a little bit of spiciness, a bit of pepperiness coming through. Great balance between that, a little bit of sweetness over here, bitterness over here. Really good, really, really, really good beer, really good beer. Mm. Right, let's try the Lombra. Very similar, really. Very similar. Just great quality Oktoberfest beer. It's, again, slightly sweet. I would say the Lone Brow is definitely sweeter on the aroma. There's a little bit less of that kind of peppery spiciness coming through. It's definitely a sweeter beer. I think we should really, though... Yeah, Lone Brow, definitely sweeter. Picking up more of that malt in the aroma. Let's dive in. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. A sweeter beer. Now, isn't it funny? Of course, on the perfect draft, I went from one week reviewing can't remember which way round it was now. I think, no, it was Low and Brow first. One week I've reviewed the Low and Brow. Then drank that in a week. Next week, spat an Oktoberfest beer. And because I was drinking them separately, in my mind, they were relatively the same beer. They, they were both good, strong German lager. Very drinkable, very refreshing. Um almost kind of wholehearted with that kind of 5.9 or 6.1% ABV, nice kind of strength to it. But they, they more or less over, over a week's difference tasted the same. But when you, when you put these two beers together, th there's a definite difference. There's a definite difference between the two beers. Spatten, slightly drier, less sweet, little bit more of a hop stinging nettle flavor coming through low brown little bit more sweet malt and I'm not saying the Lone Brow has, has less hops. What I'm saying is, is because the Lone Brow is sweeter, a little bit more malty in flavour, it's somewhat masking the hops just a little bit. If you really think about it, get it in your mouth, think about it. The hops are definitely there in the background. They are definitely there in the background. Spicy, peppery, stinging nettle, nice and bitter. It's just because, because the beer was slightly sweeter than the spatten, it's almost as if my brain like fixated on that kind of like, oh, it's a little bit sweeter. And then you and then and then you're not kind of thinking about other things of the beer. 
other aspects of the beer. But they're both great. They're both great. But there can only be one winner. There can only be one winner, and I'm leaning towards the Spaten. I'm leaning towards the Spaten, I really am. And that's... I mean, it's funny, isn't it? It's AB InBev. I'm pretty sure it's InBev. I'm pretty sure InBev owns this company. Uh, I know it's Spaten and Franciscana, but the, the, the main company, I'm pretty sure, is AB InBev. And, and that, that's fine. I've got no problem with that whatsoever. For me, it's what's on the bar at the time. If it tastes better than, than Low and Brow, then so be it. You know, it's that sort of thing. You might like a slightly sweeter beer you might like a slightly drier spicier more crispy beer this all falls down to individual kind of preferences with beer so my preference is to say that i prefer the spatten i prefer the beer to be a little less sweet and um, for that reason, I'm going to give the Lone Brow a very good, very good 8 out of 10. 8 out of 10 for the Lone Brow Oktoberfest beer. But the Spaten, for me, on this occasion, gets a 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10 from the Spaten. Thank you very much to Stuart for putting these two beers side by side. I, I, you must have known that I must have watched that I did the two beers on the Philips Perfect Draft and... To actually put it next to each other is, I found it quite fascinating really. It's been a really good experience for me. Thank you very much. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.